And we say good morning to you. Welcome. We are live to kick off this brand new week, Easter week, as a matter of fact, 2018. We're live at B&H Wealth Strategies, brand new sponsor. Love it. We're here with Jeff Bingham and Jake and, oh gosh, uh, Kathy and uh, Nancy and Sherry. I think I got them all. Yep. B&H Wealth Strategies. He's going to be here with us a little bit later on. Again, El Presidente of said firm, Jeff Bingham. Also going to be joined by Ryan Wagner, the Dobbins Minute Baseball Coach. Big week. Looks like weather's going to finally uh, clear out and get some great baseball weather in here. Although, then I say that, the rain's supposed to get back in here towards the latter part of the week. So today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, probably good days for baseball here in the region. We'll talk about that. And then also going to be joined by the owner of Performance Medicine, Dr. Tom Rogers, who is partnering with B&H Wealth Strategies, and that's a really cool association. And so we'll, uh, again, uh, talk about that a little bit later in the show as well. It is a Monday. Again, we have some uh, interesting birthdays. You know you're getting old when Steven Tyler of Aerosmith is having a birthday today. How old do you say he is, Tom? Well, glad you asked. Steven Tyler from Aerosmith is 70. Oh, gosh. Holy smokes. Diana Ross is having a birthday today. She's 74. James Kahn. I'm remembering from uh, Sonny among many, many uh, movies he's been in, but Sonny from The Godfather fame. James Kahn, 78 today. Diana Ross, 74. Again, Steven Tyler, lead singer of Aerosmith, is 70. Funny lady, uh, Vicki Lawrence. Remember from The Carol Burnett Show and, and Mama's Family? Uh, she's the mama obviously funny funny lady 69 also marcus allen having a birthday today college and pro football hall of famer marcus allen 58 and if you're a fan of country music a young man from the hills of east tennessee kenny chesney having a birthday today kenny chesney has 50 candles on his birthday cake those are some birthdays again on this monday march the 26th final monday of the month and of course the countdown to christmas if you must know we do we are down to oh let's see 200 and inside of 300 days to Christmas, we're at 273 days to Christmas. <laughs> Hard to believe. I'm telling you, it just rolls on. Lots to talk about. NASCAR, of course, snowed out yesterday in a literal sense. Snow and rain in Martinsville to pick it back up. In fact, the trucks will be starting here in just a few minutes. 11 o'clock, get it rolling. And then also you have the Cup Series, the STP 500 rolling off. Uh, no, of course, no qualifying and everything was canceled. The roll off by... Uh, uh, where they are right now in the standing so you have that going on at two o'clock today mike hedrick will join us tomorrow we'll be tomorrow right up the street at jim klein farmers insurance wednesday we'll be at bristol motor speedway in the lobby of the bruton smith building thursday will be at champion chevrolet and friday we're taking a rare day off we're going to be off on friday for good friday and so we're working on a four-day week this week but it's going to be busy lots to talk about goodness gracious you look at the bounce from the shot of grace and allen of the duke blue devils that could have made a big, big difference in that ball game. It didn't. So you take two teams of local interest, the Duke Blue Devils and the Tennessee Volunteers, both teams losing because of a bounce that didn't go in. And so Kansas moves on, Villanova moves on. So the final four set, Kansas, Villanova, Loyola of Chicago, and, of course, the Michigan Wolverines. And so all that are ready to go for the final four coming up this weekend. And a week from tonight, we'll crown a national champion of college basketball after a crazy, crazy, crazy March Madness bracketing so far, which is what you want. If you're the NCAA, they got to love this <clears throat> because all these upsets have really provide a lot of excitement. Of course, it's busted a lot of brackets. But anyway, that's what's going on. And so uh, that is the focal point of what we're going to be talking about. Got some high school baseball, some college football notes, uh, some movement. And the coaching ranks, so we'll tell you all about that. We've got lots going on all here thanks to good folks at Food City and Sprint. Again, a brand-new sponsor we are today. That is the good folks, again, as we said, here at B&H Well Strategies. Always dedicate our show to the man who hung on the cross. It is his show. Today's verse out of the book of Zephaniah 317 says, I am with you. I am mighty to save. I will take great delight in you. I will quiet you with my love, and I will rejoice over you with singing. And so that is the verse of the day. I always have a verse of the day to get us started, and so that would be today's out of the book of Zephaniah 3, 17. So, ready to roll. Again, we thank you for being with us live at b and Well Strategies. We've got NBA news, the National Hockey League winding down, playoffs right around the corner, as are the NBA playoffs. And a couple of more teams over the weekend punched their ticket to move on into playoff. They've qualified to play in the NBA playoffs, so we'll talk all about that. Got some high school baseball and softball to tell you about, so there's a lot on the plate, and that's why we do this every day. This is show number 716, and again, our countdown to this event right here, the Food City 500. We're inside of three weeks now, down to 20 days out 
for the Food City 500, 19 days to the Xfinity Series. And, of course, we're giving you a chance to win tickets. Two weeks from today, we'll announce the winners. You have a chance to win a few uh, multiple winners. We'll be going to the Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300 and the Zombie Auto 150. That, of course, will be coming up on Saturday, April the 14th. And we've got some multiple winners going to this race here, the Food City 500. And so they'll be coming up on Sunday, April the 15th. And all you have to do is go right here at TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest. We'll announce the winners on April the 9th. We're sending you to the world's last great coliseum, Bristol Motor Speedway. It's going to be some great racing. And, again, there, as we said, because of the snow and the rain racing today in Martinsville, that's what they call the paper clip because that's what, it, what it looks like. And so the truck series is rolling off right now. We'll keep you posted on how that goes. And then, of course, as we said, we'll get cranked up and be ready to roll for the uh, STP 500 at 2 o'clock this afternoon from Martinsville Speedway. The uh, NASCAR family is off this week. Uh, they do not race this week for the Easter weekend. So after this week, you take a week off and come back to Texas Motor Speedway. And then, as we said, we're 20 days out from the Food City 500, again, at the world's last great coliseum. Quick break. We'll be right back, and we'll jump right in here and go, and we'll take a look at what's happening in sports. Obviously, we'll start with some great basketball games yesterday, some heartbreakers, and, again, helping to set up the Final Four and get it ready. We'll tell you all about it coming up next year on show number 716. We're live at b and Wealth Strategies on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars. You have to be certified in eight different certifications, in eight different tests you have to take, and you have to be updated on them yearly to, to make sure that you're uh, up to date. We not only have one of those, we have three ASE Master Technicians here. With the ratio, it goes into a ratio, and it's, we're a Blue Seal shop, so uh, it tells you that we, we care about training and we care about knowing about your car. We want to help fix it right. American Import and Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitat, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-Cities' best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30-plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad-spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard. We've got you covered. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today.
Our great sponsor at Sprint, giving you a chance to save at all Sprint stores across the Tri-Cities. When you go into any Sprint store and say you heard the Tom Taylor Sports Show or Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball, they'll give you 25% off or a fourth off any accessory in the store. That would include Urban Armor Gear cases, OtterBox cases, any screen protectors, tempered glass 25% off, wireless charging stands, pop sockets, tablet cases, wireless chargers, battery packs are all 25% off when you say you heard the Tom Taylor Sports Show or Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. Also, Beats headphones, both the headphones and the earbuds, 25% off when you say you heard the show. Also, three-piece magnetic organizers, battery packs, tablet cases, JBL portable flip speakers. It goes on and on. Anything accessory in the store at any Sprint store in the Tri-Cities, say you heard the Tom Davis Sports Show and or Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball and save 25% off today at your Sprint store across the Tri-Cities. And back with the Tom Davis Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. We're live here at b Wealth Strategies again on Center Street in Kingsport. Jeff's going to join us coming up here in just a little while. And again, we thank you for being with us wherever you may be again on this Monday, March the 26th, we got baseball tomorrow after the big win on Friday down at Smoky Stadium in Knoxville. We will come back and have for you. It's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. University High will be at the stadium, O'Brien Stadium, home of the Twins. We'll do that again coming up uh, tomorrow, and that will be, hello, Kurt Stevenson. Good morning, my friend. How are you? And so we will have that 445 airtime tomorrow. Uh, first pitch at 5 o'clock, the Cyclones and University High in a non-conference game coming up tomorrow from O'Brien Stadium. And then we'll be by off until the following week and a lot of baseball the following week, first week, full week of April, and we'll have that for you. But tomorrow it'll be Elizabeth and, and University High Baseball. All right, let's take a look at it. It was a good one last night. Kansas punching the final remaining ticket of the Final Four, outlasting Duke 85-81 in overtime. They'll join Villanova, Michigan, and Loyola of Chicago and San Antonio for this week's national semifinals. The Ramblers will face the Wolverines. And the first game, Saturday at the Alamo Dome, followed by the Jayhawks against the Wildcats. So it's going to be a lot of great basketball coming up. Uh, let's run them down for you for the Final Four. The number one seed of the East Regional, Villanova, yet to win by fewer than 12 points in the NCAA tournament. Its latest dominant performance Sunday with a big win, 71-59 over Texas Tech. Wildcats making their second Final Four appearance in three seasons, two wins away from winning a second title in that same span. So... Well, thank you, Kurt. That is uh, very kind of you to say that. Very, very kind. We just we just do the best we can do. We just kind of get out here and kick up a little dust. Kansas faced a, the second uh, Kansas number one seed of the Midwest Regional. Kansas facing a challenging road to San Antonio, but proved its championship medal by defeating a great Duke team in the Elite Eight in an overtime thriller. Jayhawks are seeking a national championship 10 years removed from their last one under Bill Self. And ironically, it will take place at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, where Self cut down the Nets a decade ago. I believe they beat Memphis in that game. Michigan, the number three seed of the West Regional. The Wolverines made NCAA tournament life difficult on themselves early winning their first two by rather uncomfortably close margins. But since then, Michigan has flipped the switch, and they have put their top five defense to the test, holding Texas A&M and Florida State, two great teams, to a combined 126 points en route to its first Final Four since 2013. And your final team is the Cinderella story, of course, the number one, the number 11 seed, rather, in the South Regional. Uh, Loyola of Chicago, the number 11 seed in the South Region, won its first three games by a combined four points, including the win over Tennessee in the NCAA tournament before punching its Final Four ticket with a 78-62 victory over Kansas State. First time the Ramblers will be in the Final Four. Very, very exciting. And so uh, they are going to move on to the Final Four this weekend again in San Antonio. That is not the only basketball being played, of course. Madison Square Garden tomorrow night, the NIT semifinals, Western Kentucky. The Hilltoppers take on the Utes of Utah. Western Kentucky at 27-10, and 10, Utah at 22-11. and 11. That'll be at 7 o'clock tomorrow night at Madison Square Garden. Then at 9.30, Penn State at 24-13, and 13, taking on the Bulldogs, Mississippi State at 25-11. and 11. That'll be at 9.30 tomorrow night. The CollegeInsider.com tournament, the semis this coming Wednesday. UIC will be at Liberty, taking on the Flames in Lynchburg at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. Then Sam Houston State at Northern Colorado at 24 and 12. They'll play those games Wednesday, the CollegeInsider.com tournament. And then the College Basketball Invitational. This is the best of, best of three. We talked about this Friday on the show and Thursday and asking some of the folks we have on the show 
do you think that it should become a best of three for the national championship? So whoever wins this weekend on Saturday, coming back on Sunday, should it be a best of three? Everybody said no. All the guys I had on the show talked and said Carmichael and see uh, Dave Angie both. Uh, yes, both agreed no. No best out of three. And yet, here's the college basketball invitational. Best out of three. No, tonight, North Texas, 18 and 17 at San Francisco, 21 and 15 at game one. Then game two on Wednesday, they'll be in Texas to play that game. And then if necessary, game three will be at North Texas on Friday as well. So the first game tonight is going to be Again, North Texas uh, in San Francisco against the Dons. Then San Francisco, North Texas, and San Francisco, North Texas. There is a best out of three there in that particular tournament. So the argument is there. And, you know, there again, we'll have to see how it goes. But, uh, you know, you get down, of course, case in point. I guess the Duke fans would say that. Tennessee fans would say, look, we'd love to play them again, but we can't because it's a one and done type situation. But, if you have a best out of three, take, for example, last night, a thriller, Duke and Kansas. If you have a three-game set, then you get a chance for your Dukey to redeem yourself. Some would say no, that you know tears up the, the purity of the game or, or the sport or the tournament and to let them have more than a one-shot chance in one game, but to have a best of three would not be good. I don't know. I'm not so sure, and I know TV would love it. Can you imagine the television folks loving that to get a chance to have a best out of three for the national championship? Anyway, the College Basketball Invitational is doing just that, a best of three, game one tonight. North Texas, 18 and 17 at San Francisco, 21 and 15. In my travels over the weekend, folks, at any time, you do sports, you do the show, how come the Bucks are in any of these tournaments? Only thing I can tell you, I'm going to try and find out from Joe Vento, uh, only thing I can tell you is simply that they didn't. They chose not to go to either, if you didn't get to the NIT and they didn't, because Southern Conference is an automatic bid if you win the conference championship, and they didn't, of course, so... Or if they didn't make it to the NCAA, which obviously they did not, I'm assuming, purely an assumption on my part, that East Tennessee State's coach, Coach Forbes, said, nah, we can't go to one of those two. We're not going. So, and I don't know that, but uh, you look at some of these teams that have been playing in these tournaments, uh, and record-wise, the Bucks not only are the same, but in some cases a better record. I mean, North Texas 18 and 17, one game over 500. San Francisco six over 500, a 21 and 15. Obviously, the Bucks are in a better record than that. But, again, I'm guessing, purely I'm guessing, uh, I'm, see, Kurt says best of three, that would be amazing. So, and again, you go back, let's pretend and do a hypothetical. Last night was a national championship, 85-81 overtime thriller. What was it I read? It was lead changes of how many times? Let's see, I've got that here somewhere. It's unbelievable. Lead changes. Yep. 18 lead changes, 11 ties. I mean, what a game. What a game. Mike Krzyzewski remained tied now with UCLA legend, the late John Wooden, with 12 Final Four performances. Grayson Allen Dunn, 1,996 points in his career. But imagine if that was the national championship. You go, okay, you play last night, come back in two nights and do it again, and you stay at the same place. I don't think you go home and away. You keep it right where it is, in this case, San Antonio. I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, they obviously are experimenting with different things with the NIT with a farther back three-point line, uh, a wider lane. So they are tinkering. They've changed it from two 220s to 410s as far as quarters. So, you know, they're not above trying something like that. But, you know, I would like it. I think it would be really cool. Now, some would say no. In fact, a lot of people I've talked to said no. But I think it would be neat because if you stub your toe, I mean, let's face it, you've got to this point in the season. Let me see what these records are here. Uh, okay, Loyola's played 37 games, Michigan's played 39, Kansas played 38, Villanova's played 38. So they're on the spot, the same ballpark. You played 38 games. You come down to the one that counts, and you have an off night. Folks say, well, you just have an off night. Okay, but if you played 38, you've built up all this momentum to play the national championship, why not do a best of three? I mean, where are these guys going to go? What's another two, three nights? I mean, they've been out of class, and, you know, they've been traveling, playing basketball for several weeks now of the March Madness, so what's another? I'll get Jeff's take on this here in a few minutes. He gets downstairs or gets down there and be with us. We are live again at B&H Wealth Strategies. Again, a brand new sponsor. We also have another brand new sponsor, the Holly Firm. Very excited about that. Uh, uh, Holly Firm, which is the attorney, uh, Jason, Holly, and Elizabeth is coming on board. We're very excited about that. So uh, we uh, are continuing to gather new sponsors, and we like that. That's the name of the game for us, and we certainly appreciate you uh, supporting and sponsoring and, and 
being loyal to the ones that are on the show. We can't thank you enough for that. Women's college basketball, let's run those down too. You got the final four coming, I mean, I'm sorry, the regional championship coming up tonight. South Carolina's Lady Gamecocks at 29 and 6, taking on Gino and the Lady Huskies of UConn at 35 and 0. They'll play that one tonight in Albany, New York. Spokane, Notre Dame at 32 and 3, takes on more, uh, Oregon rather at 33 and 4. Uh, that's tonight in Spokane. Also, you have the uh, let's see who won that game. I saw that it was. Let me go back here. The other games played yesterday. Mississippi State and UCLA. Let me double check here. Let me reference real quick. I want to make sure I get it right here, so you will be in the know. Uh, yep, Mississippi State beat UCLA 89 to 73. So Mississippi State moves on, and so they will move into the next round, and so they win 89 to 73 over the Lady Bruins of UCLA. And the other regional was Louisville defeating Oregon State. Blew them out, 76-43. Beat them by, what, 33 points. So that is what you've got set up tonight. South Carolina, UConn, Notre Dame, Oregon. Other side of the bracket set. Mississippi State's Lady Bulldogs and the Louisville Lady Cardinals are there ready to go. Hello, Rob Fritz. Thank you, my friend, for being with us. Hopefully I can get Rob on the, uh, on the ball game tomorrow. We've got a baseball game, 5 o'clock. It'll be Elizabeth and University High and Rob. I'm publicly inviting you to the game tomorrow to come by and talk about the armed ministry in, uh, in Elizabeth. Tom Taylor Sports Show, again, we're live again at B&H Wealth Strategies. Also, somebody else that's still playing basketball, the Lady Hokies of Virginia Tech. They beat Alabama last night 74-67 at Castle Coliseum in Blacksburg. So they now move on to the semifinals of the women's NIT for the Lady Hokies. They've won four postseason games for the first time in program history. They now have their record at what 22 and 13 they'll play at West Virginia 25 and 11 and that'll be going on uh, Wednesday night in the final four the time is to be announced again Mountaineers got to that point the Lady Mountaineers by beating St. John's ladies on Sunday 76 62 they played once in a tournament in Melbourne in November in Melbourne Florida the Paradise Jam tournament and the Mountaineers Lady Mountaineers won that game 79 61 Kurt Stevenson says, farther back, three-point line with the way teams are hitting three-pointers, move it back, challenge the teams. Yep. You know, I'm not above, and again, I'm a purist of the sport, but I'm not above raising that rim to 12 feet. I mean, some of those guys, I mean, it's like, beep. I mean, there's just no challenge for them to slam the ball because they're so big. And so, well, okay, why penalize them being big? I'm not penalizing them, but I think it would add some excitement to the game for me if you raise the rim to 12 feet. You know, that then the ones that can really jump, the ones going to get up there and put the ram a slam on it or whatever. So, and, uh, you know, we'll see. That, that's purely my thought process. But, you know, I would, for me, if you're going to change the sport, I would raise the, the rim. i put it up 12 feet. So, you know, that's what we got going on. Rob Fritz, thank you. Kurt Stevenson says, do a best of three of the national championship. I think that'd be pretty good. I think the Duke fans would like to have another chance, would you not, after last night? Yeah. When you think of best of three? Yeah, without question. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I could have won money on that one. Oh, baby. So we got a big segment on college football. A lot of spring games coming up this week. South Carolina, we got a couple of coaching changes. We have a football franchise, or not a football franchise, football program that says we're not going to shut down. Uh, the administration says we want to shut her down to save money, and there's been an outcry from the public from this particular school. We'll tell you about it coming up in a few minutes. Says no. And so as a result of that, uh, the people, we the people have spoken, and the alum and fan base of this particular university said, okay, we're not going to shut down football and our college football program. Uh, hello, Renee McNeil. Hello, Rob Fritz. Hello, Kurt Stevenson. We'll take a break again. Don't forget as we go to the break, reminding you, you have two weeks till today, from today. There it is. Go to TomDaylorSports.com backslash contest. You can win tickets to go to either the uh, Saturday racing on April the 14th, the Fitzgerald Glider Kids 300, and or the uh, Zombie Auto 150. Eric Jones back in to defend his crown for that particular race. And also Jeff Burton's son Harrison back to defend his crown in the Zombie Auto 150. That's all on the 14th. 450 laps of racing free if you come and go to TomDaylorSports.com backslash contest. And then on Sunday... 
We are, what I say, 20 days out. Yep, inside of three weeks to the Food City 500. Jimmy Johnson hadn't won in 26 races. He's in a drought, seven-time champion. He'll be back to defend his crown on that Sunday. We'll be up there at the track doing some announcing, and you get a chance to get up there to the world's last great coliseum and uh, sit back and enjoy a fun, fun time. So all you got to do is go to TomTotalSports.com backslash contest. Good luck. We had, uh, I think Jeremiah said, Friday, Thursday or Friday, you had 35 or 40 entries both days. So pretty neat. So there you go. Uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll come right back on the, where we are today. Brand new sponsor. <laughs> the band is back. Every time I look at it, I think the band is The boys are back in town. What, remember the name of the group that sang that one? You got it. Bing! The boys are back in town. We'll take a break. We'll talk to our buddy Jeff Bingham. Uh, first, we'll hear from our, where we're going to be tomorrow, right down the street at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance and from Chick-fil-A. We'll be right back after this. Show number 716 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. Do you like pulled pork? At Phil's, the pulled pork is cooked low and slow. We cook it all night, but we serve it fast. Our pulled pork is hickory smoked, tender and juicy. We serve the pork either as a sandwich on a bun or platter style with garlic toast. And don't forget to try our pork wings. They taste like a cross between ham and our sweet Sweet ribs. It comes as a meal, as an add-on, or part of our meat sampler platters. Pulled pork and pork wings. Just two great reasons to stop by Phil's Dream Pit. Eastern Star Exit off I-26, 349-6437. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do as their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air conditioned, cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City opens six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call, and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here at the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, we follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400. Your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. We're back with the Tom Dover Sports Show. No, I'm not Jeff. We're going to get Jeff on. By the way, we did birthdays earlier, and uh, you know you're getting old. I guess you got to think you're getting old when Steven Tyler from the Aerosmith, yeah. Ste- My boy, 70 Tyler. today. 70. <laughs> Time to start taking required minimum distributions from his IRA. <laughs> 
There you go. <laughs> Who else having a birthday? You remember, uh, were you a fan of The Godfather, the yes. movie? All right, Sonny, James Caan, 78 today. Okay. Uh, Diana Ross, Supreme, 74, which is going to roll right into what we're talking about here today, perfectly, I might add. Uh, let's see, Steven Tyler is 70. Had a chance to meet him up at the Speedway two years ago. He came out and did a concert. He had an all country, see, he's trying to go country, an all female country band behind him, which wasn't bad, but. You know, he had a 45-minute set, and about the first 20, about the first 30 minutes, he played songs from his, and nobody had any clue. From his new stuff. Oh, yeah. And he came out and cut it yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah. And he came back and did Walk This Way, went to some, some uh, you know, legendary Aerosmith, best he could by himself. Of course, the girl backup band was pretty good. They weren't, they weren't the boys, but they could play. And so, at that point, it became real popular. The crowd got yeah, into it. Yeah, they changed it. The yeah. tone changed a yeah. bit. Sweet emotion. Yeah. Walked his way. Got Whatever. after pretty good. I, you know, that's one of my favorites. And we talk about last and doing it. I mean, the fact that he's 70 and he's still, he's still doing it and they're still touring some. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Marcus Allen, Pro Football Hall of Famer. Was Marcus. 58 today. Same, same age as me. There, there you go. go. And then country singer Kenny Chesney having a birthday today. He would be 50. So there you go. There's Just got to 50. And, and I know you can, boy, right? yeah, oh yeah, exactly. East Tennessee man. So, and I know you're concerned, but we have 273 days to Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well, good. <laughs> I was wondering about that. I, I like to hit my shop and knock oh. out early. <laughs> 273 is a little Easter weekend. Yeah. You have to do a little Christmas yeah, shopping. I do. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm watching last night. This is no joke. Go home and I get home from church. I'm watching the highlights package, and I'm thinking, my buddy, this this could be a somber show tomorrow because I'm watching that Grayson Allen shot, bing, bang, bang around. It almost looked like the UT game, you know. It was. Uh, bounced around, fell off, and Loyola won that one. And of course, Kansas won last night, 85-81 in overtime. Heck of a game. Mike Krzyzewski, in his usual class way, said it was an honor to be in that ball game. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, it is painful to – I wanted Duke and had Duke sure. continued on in one of the bracket challenges that I'm in. I actually would have just about at least locked me up to, to finish in the money, if you will. Uh, but with Duke going down, that'll that'll do me that'll do me <laughs> as well. Uh, so for all kinds of reasons that I was was pulling for them. But yeah, it's um, Shevsky's just regardless of my North Carolina buddies that can't stand him. Uh, but I think that's more of out of. <laughs> Lack. Jealousy, yeah, jealousy, and jealousy. not being able to respect the other side of the, you know, the other yeah. side of the county, uh, that uh, that that is right there because he's he's just done it year in and year out. He always does it with class, and you know they'll. The fact of the matter is, is they'll they'll contend again next year, and you know life will move on. Oh, he's got four blue chippers coming in next year, and of course, looks like Bagley and some of these guys may bolt to go to the NBA. 18 lead changes, 11 ties. So this was a great ball game, 85-81 OT. Villanova moves on. We were talking during the break that this may be the team that everybody has to kind of stop because they're on a – they got to mow. And on the other side, Loyola, the Cinderella story. And really Michigan's kind of a Cinderella story too in a roundabout way. I mean, they're, they're a three seed, but they're still – you know, they're not the number one or number two seed. So I think that's kind of a Cinderella bracket, isn't it? I think it is. I mean, you know, I, and, and again, didn't fall in college basketball nearly – as much as I would have, guess I'd like to this year, just because you know life kind of kind of moves on and my business kind of takes precedent to that. But so I couldn't have told you a whole lot about Michigan until um, until kind of watching the tournament. I mean, you kind of watch them and you can see a few of the names I recognize, but obviously playing pretty well. I think I did fortunately victim to beat A and M. I think in our Monday segment that we did, I mm-hmm. somehow managed to pick that winner. That's just luck. Uh, you know, yeah, fifty fifty <laughs> shot at it. So <laughs> it's. <laughs> Kick it right over like there. 50-50 shot. Roll the dice, baby. Down, right. um, <laughs> I didn't pick Loyola to win. I really thought their story would come, come undone. I think Michigan probably I, – I do think Michigan will win this game after all Cinderella stories. I just don't think it's – I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen this year. Maybe it will one of these days when one of these teams like that is going to win it. But um, I don't see it happen. I see they, they get beat on on Saturday night. I guess it is on which is their first or second game. It doesn't matter. Um, but I don't think anybody's going to be. I think we talked about it before. I think Jay Wright is – I think, you know, Villanova is always a great basketball school going back to the Raleigh Massimino days. Um, but I think since since Jay Wright's gotten there, you know, he's just – he's taken them what I would call next level, uh, and they just do it year in and year out. The culture is, is now built there. Um, however, they've done it at a, you know, a fairly – not a great not a great big school there, but, you know, high academic standards, and you know, in Philadelphia. And they're just um, – 
they contend every year. They're one of the mm-hmm. team. They're they're the Duke, Kentucky, you know, Villanova. Mm-hmm. They're one of they're one of the three or four or five teams that you know Kansas. Obviously, they're going to play too. Kansas would fall into that into that uh, category as well. So, which ought to make for a great game. I mean, I think the two fan bases will be phenomenal, and I think the game will be you know, hopefully will be one that that will that we'll remember and we'll talk about. You know, next time we're together. So the Jay Rice probably one of those guys that when one of the big jobs come open, although Villanova's probably a pretty good job, but I'm, I'm thinking a Duke, a North Carolina, a Kentucky. You know, I think this guy is primed to be the next big-time coach. Obviously, he's proven with Villanova. So uh, with all the upsets, we talked about this earlier when we get into matters and Andy in a few minutes, but uh, hello, Betty Perry and Elizabeth and watching the show, uh, and Don Lambert's watching the show. Appreciate you ladies. Is uh, all the upsets, is that parody? Do you think that's where we are? Was it a fluke? the brackets this year or do you say Tom across the board I mean everybody's getting better the guys are getting bigger and stronger and faster and and you're seeing uh, what I think the NCAA would want to see would be parity is that the case or just a fluke tournament this year I think it probably is parity um and I think there's a lot of reasons for that I mean I'm not a (laughs) again without going into too much I'm not a great I don't think the game of college basketball is a great game anymore I mean I think it's played everybody wants to shoot threes the game's too physical. I mean, it's you know, and the, I would say the officiating is so suspect. Gross. It's suspect. I mean, it's just yeah. the inconsistencies of it. I mean, consistently you, inconsistent. Yeah, consistently inconsistent. Yeah. Uh, and I think one and dones have, and I can't remember if it was you or not that had this conversation. Really, I think one and dones are are a huge problem. I mean, that's mm-hmm. that's why you see you know Kentucky and Duke, and I mean, certainly they get these one and dones, and, and sometimes you're real good. And Kentucky was did all right this year, but they always are having this, and you know, but it's hard to get kids like that that are 18 years old to figure out how to make a team out of them because as mm-hmm. I talked about the night at our at our, at our uh, March Madness client appreciation is that it is a team effort in basketball it's not who the best player is on the floor it's the best team sure. uh, and you know, it's hard to have a bunch of 18 year old kids that have been the best at where they've ever been through AAU and their high schools and everywhere else and then have them to come together and ask them to give up you know to become selfless uh, in a game that requires that and Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and most of the time it doesn't. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, at the end right. of the day, it's just hard to put that together. Um, so I think that's done it. And I think the kid, the teams like Loyola, um, you know, without knowing a whole lot about them, but they're, they've got, you know, they're playing juniors and seniors versus playing 18 and 19 year old freshmen. And there is a difference physically mm-hmm. in the maturity level and all those things that you go through. So I think you, I think the mid majors, because of one and dones, if you will, certainly have a much better chance of competing now at the level if they're if they're pretty good. Um, so I think that's changed it. But I think you know, I, like I said, I don't think the game itself. Um, it's a great time of year to watch it, March Madness. But I think the game itself. Try to watch games all year long, and I think it's <laughs> it's a tough. Painful. Watch. I think it's a tough watch. Yeah, it, it really is painful. Is. A lot of street ball, a lot of just run and gun, and not you know, it's all about me. And I'm right there with him. A lot of entitlement going on. It's what's what's going to work for me. And and case in point, I mean, they've already talked about Bagley and these guys stepping out tonight or this morning after last night's loss and saying, hey, we're heading to, uh, we're going to the NBA. So that tells me that, you know, it's not about what's best for the team, it's what's best for me. And you got kids not wanting to play in the tournament. I'm afraid they won't get hurt uh, for their draft stock in both football sure. and now basketball. So yeah. we've kind of lost focus, I think. So, uh, I mean, I think, you know, and again, not to, to hammer this thing down, we don't stay on it forever, but I, it, why can't, <laughs> that's what I see, why can't an 18 year old, if you're in high school and you're good enough to go to the NBA or to, or to their feeder league, whatever their you know, D league or whatever it's called, um, why not let these kids go? I mean, if, they, if anybody, if you're if you want to leave high school and go find a job, they don't stop anybody else from doing it. So why are you able not able to go to to play in the NBA? Well put. Um, you know, I, I don't. I, I find that to be I, that's a tough that's a tough sell for me to understand that. I do think that once you commit and you go to school, that you then you ought to have to commit to that school for four years or at least some period of time, mm-hmm. not one. Uh, because, again, it doesn't even require, I mean, you know, literally, it doesn't, you got to go to school for one semester mm-hmm. to be to exactly be right. And I'm not saying that they don't, and I suspect that in most of these schools that they are, uh, at least they're working and trying to do it, but all you have to do is commit for one semester of going to class, be eligible for one, and then you're, and then you're done. Uh, I don't know. It's, it doesn't seem right to me. So we talked about this last week on the show. I guess it was with champions, some guys I had on the show there. And, and my theory is, this is me, if I sign you for a four-year scholarship to play basketball and you bolt to the NBA, that's all fine and good. 
but you've knocked somebody else out of a scholarship. So if you're making up big bucks and making a big money, apparently you are, then you write me a check for the difference. Go to school years. back there, number, yeah. the number. Right, right, you, know? By, you know, if it's a, I don't know, pick a number. It's 20000 a year, it's $80,000, yeah. and you leave after the first year, then you owe the university. If you're making that kind of money, why would you, know, you not care to you know, stroke a check for 60000 yeah. back to the school? Because you've knocked somebody out of a chance to play uh, – play basketball at that school. Last question, and we'll get into what this firm is all about here. He is the owner I have on the screen and the president of B&H Wealth Strategies, brand new sponsor. Uh, best of three. I threw that out on the table earlier in the uh, week last or last week on the show and got some negatives and positives. The best of three, in other words, whoever wins Saturday, come back Monday next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, leave it to the Alamo Dome, wherever it is, or maybe go home way on the campuses for the student bodies, but do a best of three because you played. I had it up before you got down here. All four of these teams are right around 38, 39 games now in the season. So, you know, what's three more games? And if you have a bad night, like I guess you want to say since Duke lost, they had a bad night. Uh, they're not moving on. So if you get beat in a, in a bad game or you don't shoot well or whatever, or take Tennessee. I mean, they get beat by the bounce. So, yeah, I agree. do you come back and do a best of three? What do you think? Yay or nay? Out of single, uh, as opposed to single elimination? I, you know, I mean, I, I could see it. I mean, I, you've got to play it down to some level, I guess, right? You play, I, I mean, out mm -hmm. of the 64, how you distill it down to mm -hmm. would the final four be the ones that would play some two out of three kind of. Kind oh, no, of the final. national championship. No, oh, just the national. It's all the last, the, the last two teams. Last two I teams. Think, I mean, best of actually, three. it makes pretty good sense. Uh, you know, one and done is. I guess we were talking about one and done, right? But a single elimination, uh, it's tough. I mean, you know, and the best team doesn't always win, that's for sure. Uh, I, you know. The reason I say that is because. Tradition. I mean, it's an interesting it's an interesting concept. The college, make sure I get this right. I'm not sure. That, and, and you sell a lot of tickets. Oh, the, the, <laughs> the TV people will love it. Yeah, I'm not sure why they wouldn't. Why, who, would, who would object? College basketball <laughs> invitational, one of those other tournaments, starts tonight best of three in North Texas at San Francisco. And they play that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the best of threes. So they're doing it. So I well, it, which and which would tell you, at least to some degree, that's that's your trial balloon. Sure. Whether this is going to work or not. Is oh, not. yeah. I mean, that's just they, – they, they're floating it up. There you go. They're running, they're running up running a flagpole and see who salutes. As they say, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I can yeah, – like I said, I mean, I, I don't know how much interest would you have in that? I mean, you know, plays. Lots. Yeah. We're talking to our buddy Jeff Bingham, being the president of B&H Wealth Strategies, brand new sponsor. Love being here with the bands back together. We, just a quick recap, we did a show every week on the radio for what, 10, 12 years? 10, 12 years. Um, yeah, with your late father and late Norman Hensley. That's the name B&H. Jeff, second generation. So uh, he picked up the the baton and ran with it. And uh, I, as I told him last week, I've got, I'm going to try and find it this week. I got some downtime. And we'll try and find there's some interviews back with his late father, just classic stuff. And there's times that he came in, and there was one time that he got on a roll, and his dad said, can I talk now? <laughs> it was great. So that I have to find those. Right, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I loved it. You were on a roll, and he said, you know, can I talk now? <laughs> it was great. And I didn't know. I mean, of course, I, I just sit there. I thought, uh-oh, we've got a little dad-son tension here. But they were. he was really cutting up with him. It was great stuff. So It worked. Uh, yeah. It worked very well between us. Yes. The point of this is that we have done this before. We're back together and we love it. And so for folks out there looking on the screen going, B and H Wealth Strategies, what in the world that's all about? And you're about to tell us what B and H is all about right here on Center Street in Kingsport. Well, what B and H Wealth Strategies is all about is that we're a fifty two year old wealth advisory firm. Uh, and that kind of that's a very and most for most people that's a very broad you know, kind of statement right there. Well, there's some, they're like, uh, you know, one of these big wirehouses, Amer not anything against any of these guys, you know, Merrill Lynch or UBS, and we kind of all get thrown in there. But again, I think as Tom would, would be able to test when you come in and you see our, our space, we're set up, uh, and I do think we operate quite differently than anybody else that's out there. Uh, one, because we're as old as we are as far as being around for 52 years, we're independent. Uh, but more importantly, I think it's the experience, what we refer to as our Four Seasons experience that we try to create for our clients. Uh, and that experience really starts from the moment that you pull into our parking lot, uh, which is in the back of our building, and you come in through our kitchen. You will, the first thing you will have when you walk in is you will smell the coffee brewing. Uh, my clients certainly know where it is, and they help themselves uh, to their cups. As Tom is showing, they also, we have our own bottled water here. Uh, and again, we will... We, my staff will greet them when they come in. Uh, we try to always make sure that, that you're meeting at least
least one of them, if not multiple, is coming in and asking how you're doing. We will offer you the water, the Coke, or the Sprite, mm -hmm. whatever it is, your beverage of choice. Uh, and in some cases, we have bowls of candy. That, that's kind of my dad's tradition, not mine. <laughs> it works. It goes a little bit against the health <laughs> issue, although dark chocolate is extremely healthy and good for you. It emotes very strong emotions, good for the heart, mm -hmm. all those things, the antioxidants, et cetera. Um, so there, there are some health benefits there. But you... But, but again, we will serve it. But again, my clients know where these things are because they're not clients is the word that I would take out. You really become, as soon as you walk in that door, you feel that you become part of the family. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is really the experience that we want to try to create. And we don't want our clients, our family, to have to ask for anything. We want to anticipate as much as we can and already have those those wants and those needs and those desires taken care of from from whatever it is. I mean, certainly from a money perspective, those things are critical, but it's also from their lifestyle. You know, what's going on in their lives? What do they need? You know, what's going on? And we're going to sit in here. Uh, again, you come in and you, you come in through the kitchen. You come into our living room uh, and sit down on the couch, and we've got TVs. Mm -hmm. And right now we're actually uh, we're actually on the TV. If you kind of look in there, we're streaming. We we're streaming. <laughs> you actually can see in there. We're we're streaming this. So if any of our, our folks do come in, uh, we're in a, one of our – in literally our den, as we mm -hmm. refer to it. But it is a conference room, I suppose, and this is where we hold our, our visits, uh, which most people would call meetings. We call visits in here. Uh, so we're in our visitor's den, um, you know, doing our show. But like I said, we're on in the living room right here. So if folks are walking through, they can see us on the air right now, um, which is kind of cool. It way. is cool. <laughs> You're so, a handsome booger, by the yeah, way. Thank look you. at that. I appreciate that. Yeah, not bad at all. On the, on the bigger screen, yeah. look at it. Um, That's all right. So it is. So the Four Seasons experience, and, and the Four Seasons experience comes from, and I borrowed that phrase from the Four Seasons Hotel. Uh, chain that's out there and if anybody's ever stated one it is one of the most magnificent experiences that you will ever have uh, they, they do anticipate needs and wants you don't have to ask for anything and it's really a just it's a model that we've tried to pattern our our firm by over the years and my staff will tell you as that uh, you know we don't we try not to just talk the talk we try to walk the walk I and mean, we're reading uh, actually the book on the four seasons right now written by the owner and trying to we're trying to sharpen our skills and our saws of doing these things as we say sharpening the saw uh, you know our some of our 2018 initiatives are you know we think you know, and, and I think we are I think we're 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 really good at what what we do and some of the things that we're talking about right here but we're always trying to get better what sure. can we do to get better <clears throat> uh, and so you know we try to we try to make sure that we we avail ourselves to to the information and look you know we try to honestly take a look at at you know at, at last year and the years before and, the, and and each week we do this what did we do last week what we're doing this week what did we do well what did we do that we need to improve upon uh and if we do those things continually um you know when i talk about it i use the term is that if you're striving for protection or for, for protection for perfection which we know is not attainable you will acquire excellence and sure that's really what we're trying to do right there and we're trying to protect or or to you know to give our clients a, a really excellent four seasons experience mama used to say if you shoot for the moon you'll always hit the stars i always thought that was pretty cool that was a, that's one of them old country sayings and so you coming up better, I'm gonna, nothing better in the country side. no <laughs> baby mama used to say bloom where you're planted too which i always thought was pretty cool <laughs> that's uh, great yeah, it is bloom where you're planted wherever you are let you know bloom where you're planted and it's very simple but it's very it astute is. i always thought it coming is. up we're going to be joined by ryan wagner the head baseball coach of the dobbins minute indians looking outside the weather is better here Again, as we told you at the outset of the show, uh, we got snowed out and rained out and iced out in Martinsville over the weekend. They are racing as we speak. We get an update with the truck series that's rolling right now, the Alpha Sources, the Alpha Energy Sources 250, and then coming up at 2 o'clock this afternoon, the STP 500. So uh, weather is better there. Weather is very much better here. So Ryan will be by. There's a busy day in baseball and softball here in the area. So we'll tell you all about that. we got a game tomorrow, Elizabeth and then in University High. Then later on, uh, Dr. Tom Rogers will come, and of course they have partnered, as Jeff alluded to at our get-together, our March Madness party at Meadowview a couple of weeks ago, uh, about how they have joined forces, and it's a really cool, I think it's a really cool winning team. Yeah, and so he'll be here in a few minutes, right? In a little yeah, while? he will. Uh, and again, I guess to kind of expand upon the Four Seasons experience, uh, you know, one of the things that, and I'm very much uh, someone that is interested in health you know, staying healthy and, and what I would refer to I guess was if you you well, I didn't really say this but we, we deal with we call a mature audience here uh, you know our clients are are 
older or middle aged or whatever you want to refer to that. So I, I believe in the, there is a tremendous amount of of science and things that we can do, biotech science and technology that is that can help us in the aging process. As we can be the best that we can be at whatever age we are, and through the anti-aging science and gerontology and things that are out there that are coming down the pike, uh, and I'm part of, the, of something called the Buck Institute in these places. It's phenomenal. Uh, it's slow to come out in the United States. I mean, you see much more of this in Germany and Japan, where they're far ahead of the curve uh, of where we are here. But I believe it's coming here, uh, and I think that the person that is the leading edge of that right now, with what's a, what you can avail yourself to, is performance medicine and Dr. Rogers. Uh, you know, Tommy stepped out, you know, a, a decade or so ago, out of the out of the regular medicine, if you will, uh, out of the general practitioner type of thing, into what we call preventative medicine. Because you've heard me say, I believe that we really don't have a healthcare system in the United States; we have a sick care system. Uh, and I think the evolution to move to healthcare is is going to happen. It's going to be slow because you're going to get uh, you're going to get a lot of resistance over it um, through big pharma and, and various things because the money is made. Quite honestly, uh, you know this is not I think this is a great secret that I'm going to reveal here. But the money is made in not prevention of disease; it's in the treatment mm -hmm. of disease, mm -hmm. uh, and not even just cure them. I'm talking about it's prevention that we can have. I mean, cure is great, but why do you ever want to get it to begin with? Uh, and Good point. so, so we're, and, and, and these things, I, I'm, I absolutely believe this and I have studied it and I continue to, to, you know, verse myself in, in what's out there through various sources that I have, uh, that I believe are, are quite good that these things are, are out there and they're coming fast and furious. The FDA's just got to really get the heck out of the way. Uh, we call them the gatekeeper of the past, uh, which is what they are. <laughs> and so, um, and again, so there is this conflict. But, but the society is going to demand it, uh, and the numbers, just the, you know, most of, with $22 trillion, again, you're going to be on a soapbox for a minute, the $22 trillion debt that this country has, right, we're $22 trillion in debt, and that is just going to rapidly increase mm -hmm. for various reasons that I won't go into, but much of that debt is as a result of health care costs, and most of it is late life health care costs. You know, life expectancies have continued to rise, but healthy life expectancies have not. And so the gap between living and staying hmm. healthy has widened over as life expectancies has gone up. And so the, there's such a, a, just a tremendous drain. And I'm not saying that we should, don't, don't anybody interpret this differently, what I'm saying right here. But the strain on the system uh, is, is so great in those areas. And all we're doing is, again, treating and keeping people alive, but not making them healthier in so, doing that. So we're living longer, just not living not healthier, living healthier longer. Right. We figured out how to keep people alive. Yeah, not, not how to make them better. That's a great point. Uh, and wow, and and it, but it is possible to do the the science and the the technology is is available. It's, it's just, there. It's there. It's yeah, just that, it's got to be let out. That's three uh, letters: FDA. Get out of the way. Get right? out of the way. You know, in big pharma, and again, big pharma is against it too, because again, until they figure out how the how where the where's the money flow, because again, the treatment in it. I'm not. This is not critical of. I mean, just is what it is. Um, so don't anybody, you know, write me or email me. I mean, it's fine if you do. I mean, I'll have this conversation with anybody about it. But it, it's it's not. It's obvious that it is uh, that that's where the money is. And until until otherwise, but 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 it's also draining so much money out of the system. It's gonna kill. It will implode if we don't do something about it. And you've heard me use this expression before. Americans always do the right thing once they've exhausted every other option. And that will be the case here as well. Mm -hmm. And so we will get there. That's a Winston Churchill saying, by the way. Uh, we will get there as this goes through. Um, and so, like I said, there's a long way to get to performance medicine, Dr. Rogers. This is what he does with what's available in today's world. He will, he will take stock of where you are, regardless of what your age is, and evaluate you. And he will make you the best you you can be. You will feel better than you've ever felt. You will live better. Doesn't mean you won't get sick because bad things happen. But if you do get sick, you have a lot better chance of getting better if you're healthy mm -hmm. when you get sick, mm -hmm. right? And then, so, you know, we will have to have some sick care in there. <clears throat> and so he can do these things. And we, my job, as I talk about the Four Seasons experience, is, is that, yes, we want your money to stay healthy. But you want to stay healthy during your retirement, you know, whatever that is. As you paint your retirement picture, you want to stay healthy and wealthy. And that is the two things that I think that we have now tied together here. And as Dr. Rogers has become the medical director of us, our clients have special access to him at special pricing. And most people think, oh, I can't afford to go see a doctor like that. Or they think they're not well enough to do those kind of things. 
none of the, neither one of those are true. We can do the modeling on the on have the cost of it, plug it in, and I will tell you the real question is is can you afford not to, not whether you can afford to. Exactly. So that's a good point. Two four seven eleven fifty two. Again, the website is bhretire.com bhretire.com so uh, we're here and glad to be here again we're talking to the president of bnh wealth strategies he's a phone call away to come down here and sit and visit and uh you know he deals with couples uh single folks divorced folks widows widowers i mean the whole gamut all right? the above all right. the above and you, so you name it we'll and we've, we've dealt with it we've and don't ever be thinking you're not i don't have enough to come in i don't you know i don't want to tell anybody about my story because you know people i mean that's i sit in this room when we visit with folks and mm-hmm. everybody is as they begin to tell their story well i'm you know I'm, i don't we should be somewhere else well the question we ask is where are you where you want to be and how you want to get there, there everybody's go. somewhere and most people want to be somewhere else that was your father's famous yeah, line but you know it hasn't changed it hasn't changed no. it should be it really should be written on every wall in this place it will be soon <laughs> and again, it is the three things is where are you, where you want to be, how you want to get there. There you go. And from those three questions right there, anybody can put together a financial plan that will be, and you, you'll, it will work. They get it done. 52 years going strong. Again, you have Sherry and Nancy and Kathy and Jake and, Jake. and Jeff and me. There you go. There you El go. Presidente. You going to be back in a little while? Sure. Come back when Tom's here. Yeah, to Tom. I'd love to. I'd I think it'd be to. great. Yeah time to kind of we we had them separate at metaview when he made the announcement and he came back in later and followed up i think it'd be really neat if y'all could carve out a few minutes to sit here together and talk about it because Absolutely. the partnership partnership is here it's ongoing quick break we'll be right back and we will talk some uh, college football we'll also talk with ryan wagner due to stop by and join us and baseball coach of dobbins minute we also got a full schedule of softball and baseball today because the weather looks like with that wind out there is going to dry these fields up pretty good and the old is it dry dust what is it they what do they put down to dry uh Sawdust? <laughs> sand <laughs> i don't know lime <laughs> Sawdust. Whatever. It, something they put down to dry up the wet, the mud puddles. Who put sawdust. I love this guy. We'll take a break. We'll be right back on the Tom Douglas Sports Show. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City is starting off 2018 with monster savings on over 350 new Chevrolets to choose from. Take advantage of these awesome savings for a limited time only. Silverado Crew and Double Caps, 10,000 off MSRP, 17 Spark, 11,995, 18 Equinox, 19,995, 17 Traverse, 28,995, 17 Corvette, 20% off MSRP. Shop us online 24-7 and don't forget our Saturday parts and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The savings continue the month of February at Max Meta Smart in Kingsport. All natural factors, 20% off. Folic acid, CoQ10, apple cider vinegar capsules, B12, they're all on sale. Anything natural factors, all 20% off the month of February at Max Meta Smart. No coupons, no limits. It's a flat 20% off anytime you buy natural factors in February at Max Meta Smart. Max Meta Smart, Center Street, Kingsport. Natural factors, 20% off in February. Make tracks to Max Medicine Mart. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, Lives are changed, one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org.
We're back at the Tom Taylor Sports Show again, show number 716. Thank you for being with us. Tomorrow, we'll get right down the street at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance and be ready to go there. Hello, Martha Buck. Hope you're doing well. Saw you yesterday at church, obviously, in the old Sunday school class. I hope you're doing well. And Betty Perry, and I was going to say hello to Don Lambert, but she's yonder there. I can still, hello, Don Lambert. How are you? She's a piece of work. Rob Fritz, again, thank you, my friend, and also Kurt Stevenson. Uh, again, we have baseball tomorrow. We'll be live again at uh, O'Brien Stadium, Elizabeth and the University High Junior Bucks. Again, as we were telling you earlier, some birthdays today. If you're interested, uh, Stephen Tyler from Aerosmith, guy's 70 today. It's hard to believe. He's uh, He's got some mileage on him. I, again, sat down and met with him. He was at the Speedway a couple of years ago for a concert, and uh, yeah, he bless his heart, but to his credit, he's got off all the stuff that really messed him up, and he's clean, or was clean last time <clears throat> I heard. Anyway, he's 70 today. Diana Ross having a birthday, 74. Kenny Chesney having a birthday, he's 50. Let's take a look at college football. Uh, again, we told you earlier in the show there has been a school that is trying to do away with football, and they have come, they being the fan base, the alumni, and the administration have gotten together and said, no, this is not going to happen. It would be Eastern Michigan University. Uh, they've been trying to do away with uh, football. Financial concerns came to fruition when the school cut four sports, softball, wrestling, women's tennis, and men's swimming and diving. And all the department at Eastern Michigan expects to save $2.4 million. One sport that is not getting cut is football. That's according to the athletic director, Scott Weatherby. It's not even a topic of discussion, but it was, and now they backed off. The president said, no, we're not going to do that. So football is the most expensive sport for Eastern Michigan. The finance of the department is already heavily subsidized. So, but they still say football is the golden ticket for nearly every Division One program. So they've cut softball, wrestling, women's tennis, men's swimming and diving. They're not going to cut football at Eastern Michigan University. Former Washington quarterback and four-star prospect KG uh, Carter Samuels announcing his intention to transfer to UCLA and join first-year coach Chip Kelly. That happened on Sunday. The catch to this is Colorado State announced uh, that he is the newest member of the Rams football program. Well, what's interesting is he was headed off to another school, uh, and so uh, he founds out that uh, he was at – let's see, let me go back here – a backup to Jake Browning throughout his career, the most extended game action he played was at Stanford back in 2015. He was going to transfer to UCLA, but he backed out, and now he's going to go to Colorado State. Why is that, you ask? Because he found out that the quarterback toward ACL injury over the weekend and playing basketball. So the coach called up and said, hey, you come here, you can probably play immediately. And so he is not going to UCLA. He is going to go to Colorado State. So it became a sweepstakes game, and so he is, uh, again, going to go there. College football, the uh, practices still continue. East Tennessee State had a scrimmage on Saturday. Uh, Coach, uh, this went totally blank. Oh, gosh. Coach Randy Sanders, thank you. <clears throat> Randy Sanders said, okay, defense okay, offense struggled, uh, a lot of drop footballs. Of course, they played on driving rainstorm Saturday at the stadium there at East Tennessee State. One of the neat developments of the spring practice for East Tennessee State Dylan Wigger, the outstanding quarterback at Solomon South for four years, who went to East Tennessee State as a quarterback, is now going to be shifted to tight end. So they've asked him to consider doing that. He said he would. And so uh, Dylan Wigger now is going to be a tight end for the East Tennessee State Buccaneer football team. So that's uh, good news if you're a Buck fan and, and a good news if you're a Dylan Wigger fan. He's a great kid. And so... Uh, again, he will be, as we said, trying out now at tight end. And so the Bucks again, will continue to scrimmage, and ha or I should say practice, have another scrimmage coming up on March the 31st. Also, Virginia Tech continues their spring practice, as does University of Tennessee, as they get ready for the spring games a little bit later on in the month of April, a little bit later on in the spring, obviously, since we're in the remaining days of the month of March. Also, UVA Wise opening up spring practice this weekend with 71 players in uniform. Uh, they had 60 last year, so an increase of 11. The coach says, uh, he gives credit, Dane Dameron, the coach says, they're growing in numbers because we're retaining kids and retaining our coaching staff, and so they will continue to practice there at UVA Wise in Wise, Virginia. Again, spring ball coming up. A couple of teams having the spring games this coming Saturday. South Carolina and Western Michigan will play to kind of wrap up their seasons and spring practice, and so that's what's going on there. Also, if you take a look at some uh, 
spring football games coming up. Here's 10 of these I want to run down real quick before we take a break. We've got, again, Ryan Wagner coming in here any minute, the uh, baseball coach for Dobbins Minute. And also Dr. Tom Rogers will be here, the owner of Performance Medicine, coming up in a little while to announce the partnership between he and and, of course, being h Well Strategies. So here's some of the games. Again, the arrival of Dan Mullen at Florida. Their game's coming up in two weeks. The Florida Gator game, is it two weeks? Yep, two weeks from this past Saturday. Dan Mullen's arrival coincides with the next quarterback battle in Gainesville. A lot of eyes will be on enrollee, the early enrollee, Emory Jones. Can he challenge Felipe Franks for the starting job? We'll see. And so that'll be a game to watch, the Florida game on April the 14th. The Georgia Bulldogs will get their first look at five-star freshman Justin Fields. Jake Fromm pushing Jacob Eason, the quarterback last spring. You saw what Fromm did, took him to the national championship. Well, they say this kid's better than Jake Fromm, so they'll get a chance to see uh, what he does on April the 21st in their wrap-up game. And also, who's going to take the place of Nick Chubb and Raquan Smith and Sony Michelle, some of the key folks they lose this year to graduation. That's on April 21st. Also, Notre Dame's game coming up on April 21st. Brian Kelly last year made it clear that Brandon Wimbush was the starting quarterback throughout the spring. Different story this year. Ian Book makes a concerted push for the job, and so some other guys as well. And so we'll see how Notre Dame's game goes on April the 21st. A couple more games to tell you about. Texas A&M, Jimbo Fisher. Again, his arrival created the -the over-the-top excitement. Again, we told you, this guy's making $20,000 a day. $20,000 thousand dollars a day uh, the boosters club have ponied up the money so every morning he wakes up and stretches and says i'm twenty one thousand dollars richer today when the sun goes down it's unbelievable but you know what somebody said they're gonna pay me twenty one thousand do this show uh let me tell you where you can deposit the check so anyway he is there he's got some holes to fill for the aggies of texas a&m they'll play theirs on april the 14th michigan Jim Harbaugh and the boys. He is under the spotlight in year four. Uh, all eyes have been the transfer quarterback, Shea Patterson. And so especially if the NCAA gives him immediate eligibility for this season coming up. And so Brandon Peters, Dylan McCaffrey, Jim Harbaugh, the coach, and three guys up there, Patterson and Peters and McCaffrey, battling for the quarterback spot again at Michigan. A couple other games to tell you about before we take a break. Ohio State's game coming up on the 14th. Three-way quarterback race for the Buckeyes. Dwayne Haskins, Joe Burrow, and Tate Martell will be the headliners. And so, uh, again, the Buckeyes, a uh, lot of graduation there, too. They're going to be doing some moving around to find out who can fill in the holes for the Buckeyes. They'll play that one in Columbus on April the 14th. Clemson, They've got theirs coming up April the 14th. Tiger fans will get a look at five-star freshman quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Defensive ends Xavier Thomas and K.J. Henry. Offensive tackle, this guy's huge. Jackson Carmen and and some of the other guys. So we'll see what Dabo has up his sleeve for their game coming up on April the 14th. And then Nebraska sold out the spring game in fewer than 24 hours. And resale tickets are through the roof. Why? Because Scott Frost is back from Central Florida coming back to coach the Cornhuskers. So look for a big turnaround in Lincoln, and it'll start with their game on the 21st. And then last but not least, who would do the obvious? The Alabama Crimson Tide on the 21st. Again, they've got all kinds of question marks with all kinds of guys. I mean, they got they got blue chippers like two deep in every position. And so Alabama has their game coming up on uh, April the 21st as well, as does Tennessee. Quick break. We'll be right back. we got more for you. We're live here again. We'll run down the high school baseball and softball for this Monday, March the 26th. We'll do that right after you hear this from our great friends at American Import Auto Repair. Also from Blue Lizard, Australian Sunscreen, Chick-fil-A, and Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. All those folks will be coming up right after you hear this. We'll be right back with more on show 716 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. 
it's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers, comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. Back live with the Tom Taylor Sports Show, show number 716. Tomorrow we're going to be live right down the street, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, one of our great sponsors. You heard just now on the commercial a few minutes ago. Wednesday we'll be at Bristol Motor Speedway in the lobby of the Bruton Smith Building. We're 20 days out and counting to the Food City 500 and 19 days out to the Xfinity Series race, so we're very, very excited about that. Again, let's go back and show you again how you can win tickets to Bristol Motor Speedway. Uh, the Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300 and also the Food City 500. All you have to do is go to TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest. Winners will be announced two weeks from today. Two weeks from today, we will put uh, your names up on the screen, let you know. Uh, last time we had winners from, what, four or five different states, so we love it. All you got to do is no purchase necessary. All you have to do is to uh, basically register, and the rest of it will be up to the computer to see who wins. We throw them in the computer, and they spit them out. So there you go. All right, let's take a look at, first off, the NBA from last night and from yesterday. we got five teams now in the Eastern Conference that punched their ticket to the playoffs. Toronto, keep an eye on the Raptors. They can play. Toronto, the Celtics. Cleveland, the 76ers, and Indiana are now in to the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. Two so far in the Western Conference, Houston and Golden State. From yesterday was Cleveland, <coughs> excuse me, going to Brooklyn, winning by seven, 121 to 114. Milwaukee, a three-point winner over the Spurs in Milwaukee. My Spurs go down in flames. Indiana, six-point winner over Miami. New York goes to Washington and beats the Wizards by four. Clippers, an 11-point win in Toronto. That's an interesting score there. L.A. wins that one, 117-106 over a team that's amassed 54 wins so far this season in Toronto. Boston will be a winner by 11 points at Sacramento from yesterday. Portland, three-point winner at Oklahoma City. The Rockets at home get a big win. They beat Atlanta yesterday in the NBA. And then you have for today, 
We got a pretty good one. Denver at 40 and 33 at Philadelphia at 42 and 30 tonight. Knicks will be in Charlotte. Lakers at Detroit. Memphis plays in Minnesota and the Phoenix Suns at 19 wins. One of the worst teams in the NBA hosting one of the better teams, the Boston Celtics at 50 and 23. They'll play them with the night in the, uh, in the great southwest in Phoenix, Arizona. The National Hockey League from last night. It goes as follows. The Predators lose in a shootout at Winnipeg, 5-4 to four the final. It was also Pittsburgh. The Penguins the defending Stanley Cup champions on the ice, 5-4 to four winners over Philadelphia. Vancouver upsets Dallas, beat them 4-1 to one in Dallas. Boston, a 2-1 to one winner on the ice in Minnesota. Tonight it goes as follows. Pretty good one. Colorado skates at Vegas. Colorado at 41 and 26. Vegas at 47 and 21. Also tonight, Buffalo skates at Toronto. Ottawa, Carolina. Florida, New York against the Islanders. Washington against the Rangers in New York. Montreal, the Canadiens on the ice hosting Detroit. Tampa Bay with the best record of the National Hockey League at 51 and 20 hosting Arizona. The Chicago Blackhawks home to San Jose. And the LA Kings hosting Calgary tonight in the National Hockey League. Teams that have punched their ticket to the playoffs, Tampa Bay and Boston to the Eastern Conference, and uh, you have the Predators in Winnipeg in the Western Conference. Hello to Bill Patrick, my friend. Hope you're doing well. As they got racing, we hope. I think it's going to be okay coming up this coming Saturday for the Food City 175 at King Sports Speedway. It got rain between now and then, but I think coming up on Saturday it's going to be okay. They dropped the green flag. Again at, uh, what, 3 o'clock on Saturday. Coach Wagner said he's on his way, and that's awesome. Uh, let's see, the Predators. What's left this month for the Predators? they got Minnesota. Uh, let's see, that would be tomorrow night. Minnesota at home. Um, yeah, Minnesota at home, San Jose at home this week, and then wrap up at the end of the week against the Buffalo Sabres. And in April, they travel to Tampa Bay, the best record in the National Hockey League. They'll go there on Sunday, Easter Sunday. Then they'll play at Florida next week. They'll play at Washington on the 5th. And they'll come back home, wrap things up the regular season on April the 7th against the Columbus Blue Jackets. So that's your schedule for the Nashville Predators over the rest of the regular season playoffs right around the corner. What else happening in sports? Let's take a look again at Daniel Norris. Again, young man out of Johnson City pitching for the Detroit Tigers. Here's an article coming out of the Detroit paper. It says, Mike Fears. F-I-E-R-S, I think it's how you pronounce it, Mike Fears. That's how I've been hearing it anyway, and that's what we're going to go with. Unlikely to be ready for the start of the regular season. Should begin the year on the disabled list, and that means that Daniel Norris will likely grab a spot in the starting rotation for Detroit. Could hold on to it even after Fears is healthy if he performs well in the early going. So Daniel Norris so far in spring training. He is uh, pitched in five games, started three of those. In 14 innings of work, he has no decisions. In 14 innings for Daniel Norris, he has given up 15 hits, seven runs, six of those earned. He's allowed two home runs. He has walked five and struck out. Looks like he struck out 12 with an ERA of 3.86. So that's Norris's numbers. It's okay. I don't think it's great. But, again, in 14 innings, he struck out 12. He's walked five, given up seven runs, six of those earns. He surrendered a couple of home runs, and he's uh, given up 15 hits. But uh, So I'll get Ryan Wagner's take on that. He's coming in here just a few minutes to coach at Dobbins Minute. Tell me if he thinks that's good numbers. Apparently Detroit does. The new manager, Ron Gardenhauer, says it's going to be good enough, we think, to get him into the starting rotation. Baseball today, let's run down the schedule. We start the in the standings. We start the new week of baseball in the Big Seven. Tennessee High and Science Hill on top. Tennessee High 3-0. Science Hill at 2-0. Daniel Boone at 1-0. Dobbins Bennett 500 at 1-1. Then you have Cherokee at 1-2. Volunteer at 0-3 and Crockett at 0-4 in the Big 7. Three Rivers Conference. Unicoi County on top at 3-0. Happy Valley at 1-0. Then you got Central and Sullivan East at 2-1. Elizabethan at 1-2. And, and Johnson County at 0-1. And, and Sullivan South at 0-4 in the Three Rivers Conference. Then the Watauga Valley Conference in baseball on top of the leader pole you have Hampton and University High both at 2-0, and Unica at 1-0 and and then North Green at 0-2 and, and Cloudland at 0-2. Here is the schedule today. Again, the new format where you play each other back-to-back days. Science Hill at Daniel Boone. Dobbins Bennett hosting Crockett. We'll talk to Coach Wagner. He's on his way here. We'll talk to him just in a, in a few minutes. Crockett at Dobbins Bennett. Volunteer at Cherokee. In the Three Rivers today, Johnson County at Sullivan Central. Sullivan East will be at Unicoi County. Sullivan South plays at Happy Valley. The Tri-City Flames take on University High at Indian Trail today. Unique at North Green, and Sullivan North will be in Hampton. That's today's schedule in high school baseball. Then in softball, you look at the uh, Big 7 Conference. Science Hill at 3-0. Daniel Boone's Ladies at 1-0. Crockett at 1-1. 
Dobbins Bennett and Tennessee Hyde 0-1 and Cherokees Lady Chiefs at 0-2 in the Big 7. Three Rivers, as expected, that uh, should be the way it is. Elizabethan at 3-0 and out of the gate on top of the conference. Sullivan East, Unicoi County, and Sullivan South all at 1-0. and Johnson County, Happy Valley, and Sullivan Central all at 0-2 in the league. Elizabethan, by the way, with spring break in Elizabethan City Schools this week, they're on the road to... Uh, let's see, they're on the road to Myrtle Beach for the Grand Strand baseball or softball tournament. <laughs> they keep peeking in. In the Watauga Valley Conference, you have Unica uh, up on top of the leader pole and the leaderboard at 3-0. and And then everybody else is yet to play, with the exception of Hampton, Sullivan North, and Cloudland. They're all 0-1. Here are the games today. Again, Elizabethan and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Gate City will be up the street here to take on the Lady Indians of Dobbins Minute. Sullivan East to Tennessee I. Crockett's Ladies playing in the Myrtle Beach Classic as well. Sullivan South Lady Rebels, Unicoi County. And University High's Lady Junior Bucks at Sullivan Central. And those are the games going on again tonight in softball, again, here in Northeast Tennessee. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. He's here. We want to get him in and talk to him. Can't wait. Talk to my man. Uh, what a great guy. We'll do that right after you hear this. Again, Ryan Wagner, what a class act. Again, the head baseball coach of the Dobbins and Indians joins us next year. Show number 716 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. The 10th anniversary birthday celebration is on at Phil's Dream Pit, Eastern Star Exit of Interstate 26. Anytime this week you stop by and dine at Phil's Dream Pit and take in some canned goods to help Second Harvest Food Bank, you'll get 10% off the total of your bill all week long. Plus, this coming Saturday, the actual day of the 10th anniversary birthday celebration, when you take in canned goods and you dine there this coming Saturday, February the 10th, you'll get 20% off the total of your meal. How about that? Happy birthday and happy anniversary from Phil's Dream Pit all week long. Take in canned goods to help out Second Harvest Food Bank and dine there on Saturday, and it's 20% off their way of saying thanks for 10 great years at Phil's Dream Pit. Eastern Star Exit of Interstate 26. See you this week at Phil's Dream Pit. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen. Recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Back live with the Tom Taylor Sports Show. We thank you for being with us again on this uh, beautiful uh, Monday, final Monday of the month, as a matter of fact. We've got uh, a week from today will be April the 2nd in the uh, national championship. Uh, Coach Wagner is here with us to get him on camera. Uh, let's talk for just a second. Did you keep it? I know it's middle of baseball season. Did you, you have a bracket? Is your bracket blown up? And it's blown up. <laughs> uh, 
I got one left, Villanova, but I had them. I, I was stupid. I picked Michigan State, and they had too tough of a side to make it that far. That's what we don't think about. You want to pick some of these teams, and they had they would have had to beat Syracuse. They would have mm-hmm. had to beat Duke, mm-hmm. and uh, and Kansas all. Pretty tall order. Yeah. So I lost there. So. <laughs> but Villanova, let's see Villanova and Kansas. Yeah. And then you've got uh, Loyola and you've got uh, Michigan. So pretty good yeah. final four. Yeah, I saw a minute ago on ESPN <clears throat> and ever how many millions of brackets. There are 54 have, has the final four. Right? I'd say they're all 54 Loyola Chicago fans, <laughs> yeah, I imagine. I'd say so. Yeah. Because they rolled the dice and got it to work mm-hmm. for them. So he's here. I appreciate him coming down again. Uh, he this is, What's neat about this gentleman is every chance he can, he'll come by and promote his kids. Whether they're and they're, they've never, I was going to say if they're 0 and 9 or 9 and 0, but he's never been 0 and 9 because he's got a great program. But he always takes every opportunity to promote his youngins. And so, seasons young, obviously, a lot of rain. How do you keep the momentum? I mean, you, you get play a couple of games, you get rain, then you get back out on the field and a couple of games in rain. Of course, here at DB, as long as it's not with the turf, you can play. But is it tough to get them up and down, up and down, especially when you go on the road and play on, on natural, yeah, natural surfaces? Yeah, it is. Uh... The weather's been tough. I mean, mm-hmm. I knew three, four weeks ago when it was 80 that we were going to get this. I didn't know it'd be this bad, but the weather's been tough. We got a lot of new kids. Uh, got some small kids that play in the lineup, and some of my veteran coaches think that you know sometimes that's why we we've struggled a little bit. Just they they have a tough time battling that cold weather, the physicality uh, of the game, and everything. But we're five and four, one and one in the conference. Still trying to feel our way with. Uh, seven new starters out of eight in the lineup mm. and uh you only got one guy returning uh, isaac whitehead who's our shortstop so uh we got some new faces got some young faces got some seniors but they're still inexperienced because we had 10 seniors last year so talking about some of your kids that have graduated went on to play i know east Tennessee state's got several db kids are playing very well for them yeah they do uh let's see uh Logan Logan Gentry's a pitcher there, and uh, he's had some good performances in relief. Uh, Christian Bailey, Chris Cook, Carter Linton, uh, Sammy Stewart, they're all at ETSU. And we got a boatload at Walter State, about four guys there. Uh, the, really, the only one that starts, though, is uh, Hunter Wolf. That tells you about their program. He, They're loaded there. They're number two junior college in the country right now, and uh, they're like 35 and 3. He's going to TCU next year. He's going to one of the top programs in the country. So Hunter Wolf's the shortstop oh. there. And then Peyton Marshall's down at uh, Memphis right now. He's got a start the other day. And then we got some other young kids scattered out at different places. Uh, so we got, f- I think we got five guys from last year's team playing college ball. What a compliment to this guy because that's always a sign when you play sports. If the kids graduate and they come back and stay in touch with the coach, that means he's had an impact. And they stay in touch with him, let him know where they are and what they're doing. When they get back in town, they come by and see him. So that always tells me, having played and been around in sports a lot of years, that when the kids think that, particularly high school, come back and want to, and they come back in town and or they'll call you and say we're getting married or having kids or whatever. I mean, it's, it's, it's that bond, that relationship that you establish with your kids, and he certainly has that. So this year's team, what do you feel like, you know, it's early, a lot of baseball between now and tournament time. What do you feel like the strength is for the DB baseball this year? Well, coming in, uh, it was our pitching staff. We had a lot of returning guys. Uh, they struggled a little bit, and I don't know if the weather's dictated some of that, but, you know, both teams play in the weather. Uh, but we, we just got to throw more strikes. We've given out too many free passes, and they know that. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to get that corrected and uh, start getting these guys out there to – you know, we, we just can't beat ourselves in the first couple innings by giving free passes. Uh, uh, we, we're pretty athletic, uh, not tremendous, but we got some good athletes on the field that run well. And, and when we win and you see us play DB baseball, usually we've not just sit in there and just tried to hit. You know, we've done some things to manufacture runs and put some pressure on defense and things like that. But you got to stay in the game early to be able to do those things, or if, if you don't, they, the other team kind of takes you out of it. I called his games back in the day, three sports star, football, basketball, and baseball. I called him the little big man. Remember that? <laughs> oh, back yeah. in the day. I'll never forget you. How long? How many years has that been? Uh, I'm not going to say. <laughs> 1994, I graduated, if you can do math. so It goes fast, wow. and I try to tell these kids every day to cherish you know, every moment and mm-hmm. try to get better every day at something and you know, just just be better kids when they leave the program. It's, that's the ultimate go. So. 
but uh, it's it's fun seeing these kids grow up and, and go on to college. And like you said, we they do stay in touch. I mean, at Christmas they were all back in here in the weight room throwing, hitting and on the field. So we we like that and enjoy that relationship. Another kid that we got that was a 2012 graduate is is playing in the pros is uh, Aaron Quill and he's with the Reds mm-hmm. organization. So. Uh, that's that's also neat to uh, see him uh, and what he's going to do this summer as well. See on the screen we're talking to Ryan Wagner, the Davos been a baseball coach, and so uh, it's 2018 is upon us. We got a new format. Obviously, we're at nine games. You guys are five and four, nine games in. Uh, again, conference play on Mondays and Tuesdays. You flip flop. So today you play Crockett here. You go down there tomorrow. So do you like that new format where you, it's almost like a big league schedule, right? It is. It's it's more for the game of baseball because that way you see at least see a couple different pitchers and uh you know going into this year with our pitching depth i would have said yes i like his format but we're one and one so i i'll tell you a little bit later now but it, it's the right thing to do and uh you think about the pros and colleges their most important series are two or three or four game series so that's the way baseball should be my old buddy for 20 years i can still i'm having flashbacks when we <laughs> called his games and old rick would say Ladies and gentlemen, little big man's got the basketball. I'll yeah. never forget that. Oh, yeah. Rick Spivey, he's a dandy. Yeah. And so we, again, talking to my man, Ryan Wagner. So uh, you, uh, right now, look at the standings. you got Tennessee High on top, Science Hill 2-0, and Daniel Boone 1-0, and Dobbins Minute, as you said, 1-1, one and one, and Cherokee Volunteer and Crockett make up the conference. So it would appear that uh, Brian Roberts got one going up in Tennessee High. He's got a pretty good ball club. I mean, yeah, Preston Brian, Roberts. Yeah. Preston Roberts, I'm sorry. Preston and then, of course, uh, Science Hill and uh, and Daniel Boone with yeah, Coach Hoover. They're all good. Uh, Tennessee High probably has the most returning starters in their lineup. Uh, Science Hill, uh, they've got several starters back, and they always bring in really good athletes and good baseball players. And then uh, Boone has a really good team too. Uh, it's a battle every day. I mean, Cherokee beat us. Uh, we beat them nine to three here, and we go down there and lose six to one. Uh, so you got to be ready every day, and that's kind of what we were talking about with the two game set. Uh, we had to see two different pitchers, and their guy kind of dominated us down there, and we we kicked it around on defense and didn't play very well. And uh, but hats off to them. I mean, you know, they they gave us our first conference loss, so we got to be better, and uh, we'll get there eventually. We, we're we're banged up a little bit and got some illness going on right now, but we just have people step in. Tell us about your track record. This is what what years you coaching? This is my eighth year. Eighth year, and tell us how many times you've been in the state. Uh, three. We went in uh, my third year, which was uh, 13, and then we went in 14, and then we went last year in 2017. So it's kind of gotten a little bit better. You, your kids see it a little bit more. They get a little more comfortable with it. Uh, but it's definitely not an uh, easy task to get there. There's so many good teams around here in this area, and then obviously Knoxville uh, and, and the IMAC conference as well. It's 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 tough. Your kids have to be very well equipped. you got to have good players, and they got to play well in those games when it matters, and we've been fortunate enough to have those type of kids. So this year, 2018, across the state in AAA baseball, who's the powerhouses, do you think? Well, I mean, we scrimmaged Farragut uh, right before the season started, and they're, they're loaded. They, they're very physical. A uh, couple transfers in. They've got several Division One players, but they got two losses in their conference already. So, uh, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't really know. I think it's probably just pretty even and uh, – it's ever who's going to be playing well at the end of the year, and everybody will have a chance. One of the guys we talked about, a lot of your kids are in professional baseball. Some of them are, some play in college, but you've got a guy named Daniel Norris that's from Johnson City in the Tiger organization trying to get that fifth spot in the starting rotation. Here's his numbers so far. 14 innings, uh, no decisions. He's given up, uh, what, 16 hits. I'm sorry, 15 hits, seven runs, six of those earned. He's surrendered two home runs. He's walked five and struck out 12. Ron Gardenauer, the manager of the twi- or the uh, Tigers, says probably with this other kid, Mike Fears, hurt, that there's a good chance he'll get that fifth spot in the rotation. You played against him, and this kid's the real deal, isn't he? He is. He's, he's a, not only a great athlete, he's a very good kid, uh, and I'm sure those uh, characteristics have helped him get to where he is today with his work ethic and the type of kid he is. But definitely as good an athlete as I've played or coached against either one. He, My first year, uh, we had the challenge of facing him twice, I know, of in the regular season. And uh, our kids took the challenge, and, and we played well and uh, battled, but they won both games. Yeah, But uh, uh, definitely uh, a good kid, and I, I hope he's successful. 
district terms this year will be where? It's at Dobbins block? Bennett. We're, we're hosting this year. so That helps, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It was my first year, and now it's back again. It's rotated around. So it's my eighth year, and there's seven teams in the conference, so we rotated around. He told me he's not coaching DB. He's also coaching the little guy this year, too, right? He's going to be over there with uh, – with, uh, Spivey and King. Uh, yeah, Samuel. Samuel's four. <laughs> uh, we're going to try to let him play a little bit or just get out there and play in the dirt or whatever it is. But, yeah, um, yeah, he'll be out there with the King, Kings and Spiveys. Uh, we're going to be on the same team. So. T-ball? Yeah, yeah. T-ball, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll give it a shot. Nothing like him, is it? No. He'll get out there and play in the dirt and run big around. time. 100 kids chase after the same ball. <laughs> like yeah, an Easter egg hunt. That's right. That's but, uh, yeah, uh, very blessed with my family and my wife and two kids. So looking forward to Easter. Yeah, you got a sweet mama. Can make, oh, she, yeah. She can make some great blueberry pancakes. Yeah, I, know that. I know you like those. And, oh, baby. Yeah, so I'm I'm good. I'm fortunate to have the family I do. So. Yeah. Remember the time she brought me up to the house and said, I'm going to fix some blueberry pancakes. And after nine, she said, I don't think I any more batter. I think I'm out. So how many did you eat? Eight nine. There you go. The wars out. Three glasses yeah. of milk and nine pounds. I was hitting it hard. Yeah. I liked it. I'm a grown boy. So yeah. hey, you're awesome. I know you got a busy schedule. You got a game tonight. You got Crockett coming to town with a uh, former coach. Yeah, Nick Langerfeld, and uh, and uh, I know it'll be a challenge. Uh, they'll play hard and do things right. So uh, we got to be ready to go. There you go. Yeah. He's learning from you. Well, he's he learned. He, he learned from a lot of coaches. He's been. He he played and coached for Charlie. Uh, Baxter. Baxter at Unicoi County. So he, he, you know, he was a, one of the best. So, but uh, yeah, he did a good job for us while he was here. Before I let him go out of fairness, tell us who your coaching staff is too, DB. Yeah. Uh, so got two two veteran coaches, Rodney Burton and Dave Earls, have been on staff for thirty plus years. You don't see that very often with one guy, much less two. Uh, blessed to have their uh, input, and then some young guys. Uh, Bo Burton's our pitching coach. So, uh, and then Nathan Fritz, a uh, former uh, player at Dobbins Bennett, pitched in a sub-state game as well and then went on to play uh, a couple years with the Elizabethan Twins. Uh, he's been a head coach at Morristown West, and we got him back. And then Elijah Sutherland uh, played mm. shortstop for me my first two years, mm-hmm. went on to play at Walter State and North Carolina. So uh, got him back. And then Billy Edders, uh, the oddball out. He's only one of seven that is not a DB grad but uh he's a great guy he's loyal he coaches football too he brings a lot of energy he does our freshman now so awesome stuff man i appreciate your time yeah, yeah thank you for having me yes Anytime. sir great guy appreciate him very, very much take a quick break we'll be right back we'll come right back and get tom rogers dr tom rogers in the house and also ben hello tank over in elizabeth and watching the show hello to andy up in west virginia watching the show thank you we'll take a break we'll be right back we're live here again at being h wealth strategies on the tom taylor sports show Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City is starting off 2018 with monstrous savings on over 350 new Chevrolets to choose from. Take advantage of these awesome savings for a limited time only. Silverado Crew and Double Caps, 10,000 off MSRP, 17 Spark, 11,995, 18 Equinox, 19,995, 17 Traverse, 28,995, 17 Corvette, 20% off MSRP. Shop us online 24-7 and don't forget our Saturday parts and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The savings continue the month of February at Max Modus Martin Kingsport. All natural factors, 20% off. Folic acid, CoQ10, apple cider vinegar capsules, B12, they're all on sale. Anything natural factors, all 20% off the month of February at Max Modus Mart. No coupons, no limits. It's a flat 20% off anytime you buy natural factors in February at Max Modus Mart. Max Modus Mart, Center Street, Kingsport. Natural factors, 20% off in February. Make tracks to Max Medicine Mart. 
At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at FCA.org. Our great sponsor at Sprint, giving you a chance to save at all Sprint stores across the Tri-Cities. When you go into any Sprint store and say you heard the Tom Taylor Sports Show or Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball, they'll give you 25% off or a fourth off any accessory in the store. That would include Urban Armor gear cases, OtterBox cases, any screen protectors, tempered glass, 25% off, wireless charging stands, pop sockets, tablet cases, wireless chargers, battery packs are all 25% off when you say you heard the Tom Taylor Sports Show or Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. Also, Beats headphones, both the headphones and the earbuds, 25% off when you say you heard the show. Also, three-piece magnetic organizers, battery packs, tablet cases, JBL portable flip speakers. It goes on and on. Anything accessory in the store at any Sprint store in the Tri-Cities, say you heard the Tom Davis Sports Show and or Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball and save 25% off today at your Sprint store across the Tri-Cities. We're back with the Tom Davis Sports Show again. There is the screen. We had, uh, what, 30, 35 uh, folks over the weekend, so we've got the numbers are going up, and that's good, but there's room for you to uh, qualify to win tickets to March, not March, April the 14th, the Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300 and the Food City 500. Again, they're racing this afternoon at 2 o'clock, the SDP 500, and that'll be going on at Martinsville Speedway. They got snowed and iced out. They had, what, six to eight inches of snow yesterday. They had a story where, uh, let's see, who was it? Ricky Stenhouse got up on top of Bubba Wallace's motorhome and took a broom and, and swept out the snow in the uh in the satellite dish so there you go that's the kind of snow they had in martinsville at what they call the paper clip no racing this weekend for the easter weekend they'll be back on track next weekend at texas and then in two weeks or 20 days out we'll have them right here at bristol motor speedway the world's last great coliseum so uh we'll take another quick break we're going to bring them in dr tom rogers and jeff bingham and whoever else wants to come in and hang out and be buddies we'll do that Right after this time out, we're live here again to B&H Wealth Strategies. Tomorrow, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. Wednesday will be at Bristol Motor Speedway. Thursday will be at Champion Chevrolet. And Friday, we're taking the day off. We'll be right back right after this on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars. You have to be certified in eight different certifications, in eight different tests you have to take, and you have to be updated on them yearly to, to make sure that you're uh, up to date. We not only have one of those, we have three ASE Master Technicians here. With the ratio, goes into a ratio, and it's, we're a Blue Seal shop, so uh, it tells you that we, we care about training and we care about knowing about your car. We want to help fix it right. American Import and Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitat, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. 
For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-Cities' best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30-plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad-spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. This is Andrew McKeon, President of Carter County Bank. Carter County is blessed with amazing characteristics. Natural beauty, caring people, and locally owned small businesses all make our community one of the best places in America to live. Remember to support Carter County small businesses with your purchases, because for every $100 you spend at a Carter County owned business, $45 stays here to create local jobs and support our schools. When you spend $100 at a national chain store, only $14 remains in our community. So no matter where you roam, hurry back home. Let's pull together to support local business and make our community even better. And we're back in on the Tom Miller Sports Show. There he is, the owner, El Presidente, Jeff Bing of B&H Well Strategies. And uh, we're going to talk Ryan Wagner here in just a second. What a great guy, great family, DB baseball coach. Uh, we both have a, a mutual friend that's uh, had a tough spill. Dr. Patrick Riggins, uh, and he's very synonymous with uh, folks in Kingsport and Dobbins been in sports and uh, just a great guy. Had a unfortunate a, a bicycle wreck and, you know, <clears throat> without going into detail, he's tore up a little bit. And for those of you out there that know him or don't know him, if you're one that, that uh, says prayers for folks, and I hope you do, we need to fire one up for Patrick Riggins and see uh, Dr. Patrick Riggins. And he's been, been around DB Sports and around Kingsport for many, many years. So, uh, if you're so inclined, say one, say one for him because he that was a bicycle, a bicycle accident, and a pretty serious one. So <clears throat> we want you to to consider doing that, saying a prayer for him. Ryan Wagner, great guy, great family, great peeps, doing a great job. You know, it's, he's very humble. I said, tell me about. He says, my eighth year. So okay, first seven years. How many times been state tournament? Three. So okay, <laughs> it's pretty good, Ryan. Well, we're, we're and he's over. Tw- he said, we're doing okay. So, yeah. Seven seven years of coaching, three trips to the state baseball tournament. That's that's that gets that's getting it done. Kind of what, we, what we've talked about throughout. It seems like we have since we started uh, at March Madness. We were talking about team and culture and you know, how do you keep repeating and getting you know kind of showing up and competing for those kind of things. And it's I think Coach Wagner, uh, Ryan, right? Uh-huh. Just a kid. Just a kid. Um, just a kid. Um, you know, it's done that. And DB baseball has been that way for a long time. And it's, the baton's been passed from Coach White on down now to all the way down to, to Ryan. And you know, you just think going back to White, and probably before that, that's the two I remember, I guess, kind of started. Uh, and Coach White was a great guy and, and you know, going to rest his soul as well. But the, um, and I was also thinking about Pat Riggins, you were talking about that, is that we, um, he, he's, he's put me together, back together a bunch of times too. So we're talking about my, about health and wealth and various things. I can assure you he's, he's put, kept, kept my knees kind of working over the years. And one of these days probably he'll put a fake one in my right hand. <laughs> he's tried to get me to do for about 10 years, in which I've resisted as strongly as I can. Fought it. Fought it. But it does accent the point, too, 
uh, one doesn't know what's around that corner. And so this is what you do as a financial planner. Uh, situations come up, and, and he's going to be okay, but he, you know, he did take a spill, and he's going to be laid up for a while. But it just uh, accents, again, what you deal with every day, making sure folks are ready uh, in case uh, the next calamity comes around the corner because we don't know. It's called LIFE. It's called LIFE, and so uh, that's what it's all about here. And then, of course, you also talked earlier in the show about being healthy, and so you announced last week, the March, two weeks ago now, the March Madness Party about a partnership, and he's here. And so uh, before we introduce him, tell us uh, you're very excited about the partnership with, with a gentleman who also is synonymous with Kingsport and the Tri-Cities. Uh, yeah, and with Dobbins Bennett as well, because I guess uh, you can't, can't see yet, yet maybe, maybe on the air, on the air with Dr. Dr. Rogers, Tommy Rogers, Rogers is sitting beside me. I still call you Tommy, sorry. <laughs> no, I call him Tom or Tommy. It's I, okay. I don't want to be hit with him. He's right here. So <laughs> we're we're going to have to find that out. So, so Dr. Dr. Rogers is sitting over here to my right, and as I talked about um, on, on the uh, Thursday night March Madness claim event that we had, that we've, that we've had an informal relationship, and we've known each other forever. Uh, I've used performance medicine for my own benefit and trying to be the best me that I can be, if you will, uh, for, I don't know, five years probably, I guess, something like that, uh, in, on, a, on a steady diet of that. Uh, and I think it certainly made me better. And uh, what, what we have done so in this informal relationship that we've had from a business perspective, we've, we've taken it another step now and uh, kind of entered into an agreement where Dr. Rogers in performance medicine, they are the medical director of BNH Wealth Strategies, which means that we can, we can kind of be the liaison from our office to his office and that our clients will get uh, some special pricing and, and he's going to take really good care of you. Uh, and, and what he'll do is just, you know, he'll find out what, what things that I talk about all the time in our business are. Where are you, where you want to go and how you want to get there. And that's exactly what they do over at Performance Medicine. He's going to take an evaluation of where you are now. He's going to find out. You know, what, what do you, you what do you want to be like, like right? How do you want to feel? feel? Which is going to be you, you want to feel, feel the best you can feel, regardless of what age you are, what kind of health you're in at the time when you start, and then start you on a program, whatever that. Uh, and I think not taking things away from him, he'll tell you more about it. But he's going to take you on a path to again what I refer to as making you the best you that you can be, as efficient and as effective, and feel as good and have as much energy as you can have, no matter where you are in life. And uh, that's the experience that we want to create here. We can help. You know, kind of show the, you know, a lot of people we talk about, you know, can I afford, you know, a doctor? I think the, 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 the misconceptions that are out there, the perceptions that are out there are, well, I'm either, you know, I'm not I'm too unhealthy to go, or, you know, I need to be healthy to go, or I don't have, it's too expensive. Uh, and both of those, I think, are absolutely false. Uh, I think, one, um, you want to get healthier, so you got to start somewhere, right? It's, you know, the journey of a thousand miles starts with, one step at a time, one step at a time. Uh, or something like that. Yeah. Might have butchered that statement. Uh, but anyway, that's East Tennessee. But also, I can't afford it. And we can do the modeling and show whether or not you can afford it. But I use this in the earlier segment. Can you afford not to do it really is the question. Uh, and so I do think it is affordable. I think that is a little bit of a myth that's out there. We can kind of break that barrier down and show how it can be cost effective to do it and what the cost is of not doing it. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is kind of I'm going to get out of the way and let Dr. Rogers tell you uh, a little bit more about his practice and what the relationship is here and, and this headset over here. There you go. That'd be a great thing as he does that. We certainly appreciate, again, Jeff, we are back together, and that's very exciting. Again, you see on the screen, you can register one more time. It's real simple. We'll give away the tickets uh, two weeks from the day. Uh, winners have been announced. All you have to do is go to TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest. I know back in the fall race, we had uh, four or five states, again, uh, represented, so uh, we think it's a really cool thing. So. Uh, TomTellerSports.com backslash contest. Winners will be announced Monday, April the 9th, and so uh, we would encourage you to go there. There's no purchase necessary. All you have to do, again, is put your name, first name, last name, the town you're from, and an email address. So when you win, we can send you the tickets or make arrangements probably to put you uh, in the will call window. Let them, just let you pick them up at the world's last great coliseum on race day. So, uh, again, let's bring up, and there is Dr. Tom Rogers, the owner of Performance Medicine, and... Good afternoon, my friend. How are you? Tom, how you doing? Just fine, sir. We do want to be sure and say uh, a little prayer for Patrick. He's a good friend of yours, and Dr. Riggins had a pretty tough spill on the bicycle wreck. No better person in the world than Pat Riggins. Dr. Riggins has been a great, great friend through the years, and we, as you know, we do the, the sports at Dobbins Minute together. I'm the medical doctor. He's the orthopedic doctor, and 
Um, he's he's going to be okay, but um, we sure need to pray for him and his speedy recovery because there is nobody I respect more than Pat Riggins. There you go. That's well put. Dr. Tom Rogers, the owner of Performance Medicine, for folks out there seeing on screen and, and watching wherever they are, and they are, and we appreciate that. What, what What's Performance Medicine? What's it all about? You know, it's interesting because how I came up with the name Performance Medicine. I actually you, you like this because... I was wanting to go out on my own, this was 12 years ago, because I was dissatisfied with the way medicine is practiced, very frustrated with not getting to spend enough time with my patients, having to deal with insurance companies, code, make a code for everything. It really distracted me. Being on a computer trying to talk to my patients, putting in all the information, it really made me a worse doctor. So I, I decided, what's everything you don't like about being a doctor? And what do you like? So I got rid of everything I didn't like, and I was at a point where I could do this, and went back and actually did a fellowship in integrative medicine, which is the branch of medicine where we try to figure out why you have something, not what you have. Why do you have it? And what can you do to get rid of it or prevent it? So anyway, I was trying to think of a name for my new business venture, and I was driving by the Bristol Speedway, and I thought, performance how about performance medicine and literally that's when it came to came and now we've had many clinics in our in our 12 years of business and uh so it's a good appropriate name i know you love that oh absolutely uh being involved with the track apps it's all about performance and performance medicine your office is located right here on center street right down from where we are right right it's a couple blocks from here and uh it's great to be associated with jeff jeff and i've been great friends for many years his brother bob actually i guess i could call bob my best friend through the last 50 years but um it's great because jeff's dad did his business he was a leader in in financial planning and insurances and everything to to make your life go better my dad was a, a doctor here in kingsport a, a surgeon and so we're kind of following in their footsteps and hopefully you know they're both deceased now hopefully we're making them proud of us so uh, well, I'm sure you are, no question, without question, as, as Papa Bingham used to say. So for folks out there, again, uh, you, as far as new clients, folks would want to come to your uh, practice or who? who? Who are you wanting to? Well, anybody really, but really my specialty is baby boomers and young, even younger people that, that want to prevent illness, stay healthy. Um, you know, I'm 63 years old, so... I've been in practice for 32 years, so I kind of know what's going on with people. I see patterns through the years, and um, I see people nowadays much unhealthier than they were when I was growing up. You know, we have a lot more obesity, which I think drives our, our health care system down the drain. There's so many diabetics out there. There's so many people on too many medications, and, and it's because of the system. It's really not that their doctor's not trying to help them, but they just don't have the, the time or a lot of times they don't have the expertise in nutrition. Um, two of my children have type 1 diabetes, so that's really why I do this is because I realized as a doctor I knew nothing about nutrition, and what they taught me was completely false. So I went off and learned on my own, and it all starts with what you put in your mouth. Um, so... I guess you could say I'm a specialist in nutrition, weight loss, hormone therapy. When we reach a certain age, our hormones decline. And as they decline, we decline in every way. Um, it's almost like nature saying to us, you're finished reproducing, start dying. Got to slow down. Right. We're, and the problem is we're living too long. And that's when, where Jeff comes in. We're going to live a long time. And, but our health is not getting any better. And what you want to do, once you reach our age, you've kind of made it in a way, but at that point you want to give to other people. And you also want to make sure you're healthy enough to do that. And what I see in a lot of my friends and, and colleagues is that they get overweight, their hormones, they have no hormones, their mental fogginess gets worse, they, they, they hobble around, and they don't have to be that way. Really, in your 60s, that should be your best decade. And yet it's a beginning of a bad decline for many people. So we're going to be working with him again over the uh, over the next 
gosh, weeks and months. We're looking forward to the partnership, and we're going to be here once a month doing our show, and we're going to get you on as much as we can. So uh, in closing, you're going into the springtime, which is, you know, the weather's warming up. We're going to have more folks being more active. So uh, I guess it's almost like Jeff's business, investing something's better than nothing as far as uh, exercise. You can't go out and run a marathon right out of the chute, but you can walk and put on a pair of shoes and walk and you know, one, today you do one lap and around the track, and tomorrow you do two laps. So something's better than nothing. Is that right? That's exactly right. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't recommend a marathon for you. I'd recommend more of a sprint. But um, so my philosophy on exercise has certainly changed a lot too over the years. But you know, the, the, the partnership I have with Jeff is a great thing because as people age, they really they worry about two things more than anything. One is, are they going to have enough money to make it? Mm -hmm. Two, are they going to be healthy enough to enjoy it? And so this partnership is kind of a one-of-a-kind new deal. I'm really happy that, that Jeff asked me to be a part of it and I'm excited about it. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Great job, guys. Great job. Yeah, was. Give me some taters, as we say back home. That's good. <laughs> Performance medicine. Good stuff. And so uh, we're going to take one final break, come back and wrap this thing up. We're live here again. We are at uh, b &H Wealth Strategies. Tomorrow will be at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We'll take a break. We'll be right back right after you hear this on show number 716 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City is starting off 2018 with monster savings on over 350 new Chevrolets to choose from. Take advantage of these awesome savings for a limited time only. Silverado Crew and Double Caps, 10,000 off MSRP, 17 Spark, 11,995, 18 Equinox, 19,995, 17 Traverse, 28,995, 17 Corvette, 20% off MSRP. Shop us online 24-7 and don't forget our Saturday parts and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The savings continue the month of February at Max Meta Smart in Kingsport. All natural factors, 20% off. Folic acid, CoQ10, apple cider vinegar capsules, B12, they're all on sale. Anything natural factors, all 20% off the month of February at Max Meta Smart. No coupons, no limits. It's a flat 20% off anytime you buy natural factors in February at Max Meta Smart. Max Meta Smart, Center Street, Kingsport. Natural factors, 20% off in February. Make tracks to Max Medicine Mart. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at FCA.org. Back on the Don Lilly Sports Show. Again, be sure and like and share the show. We certainly appreciate that. I want to say thanks to our guest today. Again, uh, uh, Jeff Bingham from BNH Wealth Strategies, El Presidente. Also, 
I'm telling you what, I'm getting stoked by hanging out with Dr. Tom Rogers. That was a lot of good information, and we're just kind of scratching the surface about what we're going to be able to do there. And so we appreciate those two gentlemen, and certainly uh, Coach Ryan Wagner, the Dobbins and a baseball coach, as well. We are out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. Back in the saddle tomorrow right down the street at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We'll be there then. Wednesday we'll be at Bristol Motor Speedway in the lobby getting ready to go racing. The world's last great coliseum. Bristol Motor Speedway 20 days out. And then also coming up, as we said, on Thursday will be a champion Chevrolet. And then on Friday we'll take we're gonna take Friday off for Good Friday. So just feel like that's what I need to do. Do want to say thanks again to this young lady who came by to take some pictures. That would be uh, Miss Lambert. Is that a good way to well <laughs> she's like move on. Okay, got you. So anyway, we uh, appreciate her stopping by taking some pictures, and she's working with the folks here at B&H as well. We will rejoin you tomorrow at 11 o'clock from Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, and then tomorrow night we got a double hitter. Tomorrow night we got Elizabeth and baseball, the Cyclones, and University High Junior Bucks from. Oklahoma.